Hey, this is a video on showing you how to set up Live Premiere Simulator and getting it working with Companion. So, first of all, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded Live Premiere and uh, all the simulator and you also have Companion. And then basically down here you would create a new session with your device. So, in here you would choose your settings. Now, it's important to give it a good name, but it's also important to note this network port. So, by default, it's 3000 for the simulator. On an actual uh, hardware box, it would be port 80, which is normal HTTP port. So I've got an RS4 here that's got um, some presets in it. So I'm just going to launch this one. I'm going to launch it in the normal 3000 port. And I'm going to let it boot. While it's waiting to uh, finish up its thing, I've also just launched command prompt and I've done an IP config. Now, I'm in a virtual machine here. I'm, I'm on a Linux host with a virtualized Windows host that's running the live prime simulator. Um, so my live prime address will actually be 192.168.122.165 and then port 3000. So we can launch the WebRCS within the virtual machine. Great, so you can see it's loading the WebRCS. It'll take a little while. This is not a very fast browser because it's a virtualized virtual machine. But you can see it's trying. Right, so what I'm going to do now is jump over to Chrome and I'll have uh, Companion installed. Uh, it's an old version just because I'm running it on my Linux host and I, I just can't be bothered to update it. But what I've done is I've created two buttons, FS1 uh, and FS2, which takes input one full screen and then input two full screen on the main output within the uh, Aquilians. They're just doing master memory recalls on um, Master Memory 1 and Master Memory 2. So that's my buttons. I've just launched the buttons uh, thing, which is down here, web buttons, just so you can see it. I'm going to pull this to one side, and then I'll stick this one to the other side. So you can see if I take one to full screen, it takes one to full screen. And if I take two to full screen, it takes two to full screen. So it's working within the simulator, but there's one thing you need to change to make it work. So when you add your device, you would normally be asked for a label and also the IP address. Now with a hardware box, you don't need to do anything other than add the IP address. But because I'm hitting the simulator, I need the virtual IP address of the, the virtual machine or the actual IP address of the virtualized machine, which for me is 192.168.122.165. And then if you add a colon and then port 3000, that is how you access the simulator. So you don't need to do that for a physical box but you do need to do it if you're simulating a um, live prem instance. 